Welcome. Today we're going to do a webcam app. In order, in order to get this working, you need a Python 2.7 because I found that uh, I couldn't get it to work with, um, with Python 3.6. I believe it might be some issues, but in order for you to get this, the way to do it is basically you just do the, the install just like we did with 3. So install the, go to the Python website, install the 2.7 version, and just install it in a different directory. And then you can import the OpenCV library, which is the, the one that we're going to need for this uh, need for this tutorial. Need for this tutorial. So, if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be glad to help. So, let's get this get this going. So, the idea here is you need to import C the CV2 uh, library, and then basically what you need to do is you need to to capture a video. But in order to to do it, in order to capture the webcam, you need to create a video capture object. And you can um, you can have as many cameras as you as you want. So if you w the the syntax for this is if you have one camera you can pass zero as an argument, and if you have uh, more than more than one it's like one two three and four. <laughs> if you only have one, <laughs> you can always use the same number. But it, since you just have one, <laughs> I'm just uh, well. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, you 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 know what I'm talking about, I think. So capture. You need to uh, create a video capture object. In, in order to do this, you just uh, define capture, and it's equal to cv2 dot video capture, and now the number of cameras that you are that we are going to need. So if you have one, it's zero. If you have if you have um, two, it's one. <laughs> if you only have one and you pass one, it's still only going to display an image. I think you get the picture. So capture, it's done. And then you need to release the capture. And a way to do this, the, the clean way, is re using the, the release method. So release. And then uh, the way to clear out all the memory, just like in Java when you do system.exit and, and you pass 0 as an argument, here you, you do this. You destroy all windows, windows, if I can write. And that's about it. So. What you do here is basically you imported the C OpenCV2 library, you created um, a video capture object that you called capture, and you, you are saying to Python that you are going to use just one camera. And down here, basically, you are releasing the capture and just clearing out all the memory. So in order for you to, in order for you to capture the image, basically, you need to, to capture uh, the frame. And you need to return the value of the frame that the camera is, is getting. Because basically a video is just a sequence of several frames. And in order to do this in, in Python, you need to do this uh, as a, as with, let's say, with a while loop. And the way to do this is you do this. Capture is opened. So basically what you're saying is if this condition is, is, um, is true, if capture is opened, basically you want to uh, capture frame by frame. So in order to do this, to capture frame by frame, you just use ret end frame equals capture dot read. read. So what you're doing here is basically getting, um, capturing frame by frame and returning the, the value to the screen in order for you to see. So, But in order to, to return this value, you need to, um, to get it in, in some way. And a way to, to display this, so let's just display the resulting frame. In order to display the result, not from frame, in order to display the, the resulting frame, you need to use the imshow method. And you need to pass as an argument frame, of course, and frame. Don't worry too much about the syntax. This comes from the OpenCV2 library. It's just, uh, this is always the same. So basically, you are creating a vid video capture object, you are using one camera, and you are using the, this from the, the library of OpenCV2. So it's a CV2 object. And basically, you are clearing out uh, what, you, what you are doing in the end. So capture release and just clearing out the, the memory. And in order for you to see the image, basically you need to return the frame, um, the camera frame by frame, and you need to display it. And in order to display it, you need to, to do this. So it's frame and then pass as an argument frame. So 
then you need to uh, exit the program. Um, and basically what, what you do is, is tell the computer to wait, to wait for a specified keystroke to leave. So just a keyboard event. And, and a way to do this is you can use a if statement, if cv2 wait key. And you, you can use any, any number here. I usually use one. If you use zero, the, the image gets uh, really choppy. So it's uh, something that's not working very well. So the way to do this is, is this, ord, so it's the, this is the function, ord, and then you just pass the, 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 the letter that you are going to use in order to leave the program. And then you need to, of course, break out of the, the if statement. So if everything is working out fine, you should be ready to go. So I, I think I forgot something here, invalid syntax while, oh, I forgot this. So, and here we go. And then X is same thing. I keep forgetting the double colons here. So coming from, okay, here we go. So <laughs> here's me <laughs> and my <laughs> messed up camera. But you, you see the picture here. So this is what we are doing here. And you can use uh, X in order to leave uh, the, the camera. You're just pressing X and see I just left the, the program. So I hope you enjoy the, enjoyed the program. If you have any questions, let me know. Remember to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.